Randy Jones, it is so great to see you, even virtually. I wish I could see you in person, but this will have to do for now. How are you doing? Doing good, Andy. I miss you guys. I mean, it is tough not getting together, but, you know, we've uh, kind of conditioned ourselves this past year and had to accept, a, you know, some unfortunate consequences. But, hey, we're all getting through it, and, and I'm confident by sometime this summer we'll get back together. It's so weird. I was thinking about it, Randy, because... In all my time covering the Padres, you're a fixture. I mean, I see you at least a few times a week. And now, you know, we're not seeing the normal people that we see all the time, but you're one of them. So what, what's this last year been like not going to the ballpark? And then are you able to at least come see a few games now? Well, you know, the great thing is I can go down to all the home games now. Uh, I've got cleared for that. I've had my shots and everything. They, they urge me not to get, you know, too rambunctious and run around. So... Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go by the rules. Let me put it that way, Eddie. You know I me. Mean? It can be hard, but you got to realize last summer is probably the first summer I've had off in probably 50 years. I've never been off in the summertime. I've always either playing baseball or working around baseball. It's been my life. And, uh, and how strange to have that much time on my hands, you know. And I'm too old to play golf five days a week. I can't do it anymore. But, you know, a couple of days a week playing golf and, um, you know, the, well, the place here, I mean, you know, I got a couple of acres, so, you know, I got into landscaping quite a bit and, and I, I kept myself busy. Believe me, I just didn't sit around, but you know, I, uh, I was actually, I was thinking about getting a couple of former pitchers and maybe starting a landscaping company. I was doing it so much. I mean, thought we might make a couple extra bucks, you know, I, <laughs> I was going to say your beautiful wife, Marie probably has never had you home this much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you there's a saint for you right there, Annie, you know, and she had to put up with me that whole time. And, and we went on a few excursions. I we'd sneak out of the state and, um, you know, like over to Arizona for like eight or nine days. And we just took the two bird by two bird dogs. And it was just the four of us in the truck. And I, I just loaded her up and said, let's get out of here. So we, we took off and we had a great time. It was just something different and unique. Uh, didn't do obviously a lot of traveling. If I couldn't drive, I wasn't going. But, you know, overall, I just, uh, hey, we made the best best of a situation that was unfortunate. That's all I can say. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's great that you're able to come back to the ballpark now. And like you said, hopefully we'll all be getting a little bit more back to normal as the year goes on. But what are your thoughts so far on this Padres team? It's been quite a start to the season. You know, I, it is really unique. I, I thought AJ got really aggressive in the offseason, made a lot of changes, a lot of new faces. Uh, you know, not going to spring training this year and, and, and being around the guys. I realized that half, half this 25-man roster, I don't think I've met yet. And I think that's unbelievable uh, to have that mix. But, you know, I see some fine young, um, young arms, some potential, you know, as far as the pitching, uh, you know, in, in the everyday lineup. You know, I, I'm not seeing the consistency I have. I think the biggest shock is maybe, maybe the errors we're making on the defensive side of the ball. We got to be more solid than that. You you can't give these teams four outs in an inning, and we're doing that too often, and that concerns me a little bit. But I mean, overall, I I think all the pieces are there. We showed that in the seven games against the Dodgers, you know. But we, I think, also those seven games against the Dodgers kind of maybe you know, had some alarming faults that we have that we need to get better at, and I'm sure that Jace Tingler saw those as well. And uh, there's a little more work to be done, but. An exciting team. I mean, I think Pottery fans got to be excited about the opportunities we have this year and what, what might happen. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They kind of expose things good and bad in these last yes. few games. Randy, something that you've never experienced, none of us have experienced, but you've seen it come close quite a few times is the no hitter. So what was that like seeing Joe Musgrove do that, especially for an organization that, you know, has like really starved for that? Andy, what a, what, a, what a storybook finish. I mean, I, I couldn't have scripted, you know, a no-hitter for the Padres any better than that scenario. I mean, I, I picked the game up in the sixth inning when he had the no-no. And we were actually out at a, at a restaurant having dinner. Next thing I know, I'm sitting at the bar watching the TV with a, a, a gang of people and, and, and watching Joe. And, and just a great, great job by the young man. I was so proud of him, the way he pitched, the way he – got the last six outs I, I couldn't I couldn't say more about how proud I am of even you know for a local kid to be a Padre fan and to be the one to pitch the first no hitter I mean you can't script any better than that I I did I stuck it and did talk to Joe a little bit 
I have known him for quite a few years since he, you know, with a kid, I've ran into him. So, you know, I just congratulated him and, and just happy for him. And, you know, happy for everybody. Pottery fans, I'm happy for the organization. You know, we're off the snide, man. We finally got a no-hitter. Is it is it weird, too, to see, you know, all the national attention now? Like, the Pottery, you know, you've been around this team for a long time. It hasn't been relevant in quite a while. So is it kind of interesting to just see all the attention that this team's been getting? Absolutely incredible. I mean, that's national, you know, coverage, but you mean well deserved. And of course, you know that, you know, Fernando Tatis start the whole thing and everything. He's an electric young man. And yeah, I mean, we got to be excited about all the years we're going to get to watch him, to be honest with you. You know, and I think he just, he just makes everybody around him a little bit better, you know, and there's still, there's some room for improvement for that young man. You lead the major leagues in errors. I don't think that's going to get it done, Annie. And, you know, those are the little things that, you know, we got to continue to work on. But, you know, he just never, he never ceases to amaze me what he can accomplish, like the five home runs in L.A. and things like that. Incredible. You know, you'd think sooner or later he might foul one of those pitchers back. No, he, he connected on all five. Five mistakes, he hit five home runs. Uh, it's incredible. But I just know that he'll make Hosmer better. He'll make you know, Machado better around him. There's no doubt in my mind that, you know, the, this, this team is, you know, headed in the right direction. But you just can't like even these two games and the Giants after that when they get back home. You know, you just got done playing the Dodgers. You can't relax. Every game's kind of important. So they've got to keep, you know, keep the foot on the pedal and, and keep going. Yeah, that's what I love about you, Randy, is, you know, you, you give props where they're due, but you're also like, you know, something's got to get fixed, you know, and I can't wait till you're back in the clubhouse, just getting on these pitchers, you know, yeah. like, like you're used to, which, you know, this is a good rotation. I don't know what you're going to well, say to Darvish, but you know, <laughs> well, somebody, somebody needs that. I mean, you know, yeah, well, I, it's going to be hard to get hooked into Darvish, but I'll get his interpreter. I'll get on him anyway. Right. I don't know, but you know, I think, I think he speaks English by the personally, but yeah, yeah. yeah personally, <laughs> I, I think he knows more than he's letting on and, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that either. Any, but, you know, I, you know, I just, I just love being around the guys and encourage them. Yeah. I might get on them and bark at them a little bit, but all I want is the best for these kids. You know, have the best career you can have. And, and sometimes they frustrate me because you know, what are you thinking out there? What are you doing? You know? And I, and I, I get so irritated at them and I'm, I'm not going to change. I've, you know, I've got to speak my piece and hopefully some of them will listen and get a little bit better. And that's what it's all about. That's my favorite part. Okay, well, speaking of encouraging people, you have an event coming up, the Randy Jones Run. It's something you've been doing for a while, right? About 11 years ago, I started a run walk for the Home of Guiding Hands, the local charity here in San Diego that I got introduced in the mid-70s, 76, uh, over in Lakeside. They were a, a little, I mean, a little area in Lakeside. They had four or five homes. And, and what they do is they take adults and kids with the developmental disabilities you know, and they give them a home. They give them housing, 24-hour care. Um, and I was just absolutely astonished in the 70s when I saw what they were doing and the impact they were making on a lot of these adults and kids, you know, because they weren't dwelling on, you know, what they couldn't do. What they were doing is they were enhancing the things they could do and giving them a life in a household environment with 24-hour care. It was incredible. And to watch them over the last 45 years, how much it's grown in 200 homes now, not little five little homes in Lakeside, but, you know, all over San Diego County and all the people that they employ, uh, it's been phenomenal. And I just try to give back every chance I get, you know, to the home of guiding hands, whether it be a golf tournament, a gala, uh, this little run walk that I do. Yeah, it's 11th year. We try to raise like 30 or 40,000 every year with sponsors and things. So. We've raised three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars to to help in any way we can with all the, the housing and everything they do for these kids. And I even have a lot of them that will come out and do the walk with us when we do it. And it'll be it's uh, this Saturday, May 1st. And we're doing it. Uh, well, it's viral this year. We can't get together down, you know, by Mission Bay like we have in the past. But I'm just asking everybody to you know get a hold of the home of God in the hands, you know, dot org. You know, you do the Randy, you, you run walk. Uh, you can sign up for 25 bucks, uh, get you a t-shirt, a medal, you know, with a little donation. And then what we're asking is a lot of these groups get together and have your own walk on Saturday morning. Like I'll have mine, you know, uh, now that I've got grandkids and stuff and I've got 10 in the family. So I've already got a group that's going to walk. So, and we'll walk here in Escondido down to Kid Carson Park and back uh, just to celebrate, you know, 
and you just perpetuate, keep it going. Uh, yeah, raise a little bit of money, but also a lot of awareness in San Diego. And let, let, letting the public know what Home of Guiding Hands does and how important that is. It's such important work. I love that you're part of this and they do, I mean, that, that's such providing so many things for these kids and adults that they wouldn't otherwise have. And I love that idea, you know, walk with the group of or the household that you've been in or the group of friends that you've been hanging out with this whole time and right. just kind of be aware and, you know, um, kind of honor what, what's going on there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm honored that I get to do it. Yeah, and I, I know a lot of times I'll go by some of the houses when I get a chance with Mark Kloss, the president of the Home of Guiding Hands and you know, I mean, I know one couple, you know, their, their, their disability and their challenge, you know, but they got married. And actually, he works at McDonald's. He takes the bus to work, comes back home. I mean, incredible stories that, that you just wouldn't believe that, you know, that can happen. And, and that's all because of the support the Home of Guiding Hands gives all these people. Uh, and it's just a fun, fun environment once you see them in their own home. And you know, the smiles on their faces uh, makes all the difference. And, how about the families that have these, a lot of these kids, younger kids, even adults? I mean, they can't afford, they don't have the time, the luxury. They can't take 24-hour care. But yet the Home of Guiding Hands does have that opportunity to take care of them in, in a home environment. So I just I just think it's a win-win-win all the way around. Huh? Yeah, I agree. And having that independence, it just means the world to, oh. you know, anyone in that position, to anyone with a disability, to have that independence is just, it's so you big. Bet. You bet. So, oh, Randy, that's so cool. Well, we appreciate your time. I appreciate your time. I can't wait to see you around the ballpark soon. I know you're going to give me a hard time and I look forward to it. Sooner or later, Andy, you're going to be down on the field. I'm going to walk, I'm going to walk out of the dugout. So I'm going to give you a hug. So that's what's going to happen. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. So it'll be all good. And in the meantime, good luck with the landscaping. I can't wait to see this, uh, you know, former pitchers, landscaping business that I know is on the horizon. I, I would, I would buy into that. So I think that's a very good idea. So I love Andy. Have a great, have a great day and, you, and go, pod, you too. go Padre. All Thanks right? Randy. Take care.